Hi, I'm Tara Comont. I'm the CEO of Tomorrow Life Sciences. So Tomorrow Life Sciences is a uh, technology company operating in the field of fertility in an IVF. And we've created the world's first and only automated platform for the safekeeping and the digital tracking of frozen eggs and embryos used in IVF. What we've done essentially is take what is a very antiquated multiple decade old infrastructure that the fertility field uses today for how they identify and care for these frozen specimens and significantly upgraded and replaced it with a modern safe version um, that uses digital tracking, 24-7 monitoring, and then fairly sophisticated automated robotics for the actual storage of frozen eggs and frozen embryos. And I understand that you recently got FDA approval for this technology. Absolutely, yes. Towards the end of last year, the end of 2022, we received our FDA clearance for our next generation platform, so we were thrilled, really setting a new standard of care in the field. The, the existing infrastructure is something that dates back many, many years and, and until tomorrow, when you look at how IVF clinics, fertility clinics manage these specimens, think about um, handwritten labels or small printed labels that go on top of the small containers that keep them. We use digital identification and digital tracking that's backed up to the cloud. Think about in the um, pre-tomorrow world, tanks, sort of lining storage rooms, wall-to-wall, uh, -wall, the tanks that resemble tanks that you would see on a farm in the back of a field, because actually human IVF was born out of livestock breeding originally. So tomorrow replaces these um, tanks with a very sophisticated automated robotic platform, um, removing multiple points of human interaction and removing in the process potential points of, of failure and, and error. And just to be clear, you guys are not a clinic, but you are a cryobank that would partner then with the clinic. We're, we're not a clinic, but we provide fertility clinics today with a modern and safe solution for the care and management of these frozen eggs and embryos. So that's in a clinic. If uh, if you're a, either a patient or a clinic and you've got frozen eggs or embryos that you would like to store outside of the clinic, so potentially for the longer term, so very applicable to say a young woman freezing her eggs, she's intentionally freezing those eggs for the long term, then you could also store them directly with the Tomorrow Cryobank, which is full of our systems and then operated by our team directly. So really patients have the option for either. And irrespective of where your specimens are stored, if you're a patient, we've created a Tomorrow app so that unlike the black hole of today, where patients have no idea, frankly, where their frozen eggs or the frozen embryos are stored. I'm an IVF mum. I have five embryos still in storage. Um, they're now moving to the Tomorrow Cryobank and I will be able to see on my app how many I've got, where they are, that they're safe. So let's talk a little bit more about that, just how analog and, and old fashioned um, egg and embryo storage is currently so not only is it in tanks the same kind of tanks you would see on a livestock farm but temperature it's a separate device that's added into it and so every time you open the tank to add more liquid nitrogen you're somewhat compromising the um the quality of the specimens right well so today the way the infrastructure works and to be fair the until tomorrow these IVF clinics had no other option. So in the morning for your procedures that day, embryologists go in and they take their sheets, their record keeping sheets, and they go in and they locate, they go and they, they spend as long as it takes to find them. And sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's not so fast. When it comes to the monitoring and the maintenance of those tanks, yes, they're manually maintained with liquid nitrogen. So, so the Tomorrow platform automates all of that. And the, the popularity of egg freezing specifically, um, as opposed to IVF, where you're, you're, you're transferring or you're keeping embryos, has a lot of implications for your business and the storage sector because eggs are kept that much longer than embryos. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I think what, what, what that's going to do for the field, um, our business clinics, is it, it's just going to further exacerbate the problem. Now look at the growth of egg freezing 
the speed at which that growth rate itself continues to increase. I mean, we saw a significant uptake during COVID and that does not appear to have slowed down. And to your point, patients are keeping these eggs. I'm a self-declared long-term storer of my frozen eggs when I go into that transaction. It's a, for, the, for most people, it's an insurance policy. I'm choosing to proactively try and preserve my fertility. And, and with egg freezing in particular, a significant proportion of those young women will likely never go back for those frozen eggs because they'll get pregnant naturally. So not only do you have more and more specimens now um, under management for clinics, but with a, with a fast growth rate, but a significant amount of them will be there for a really, really long time. So I think that the, the relevance to our business is that we are overdue, but we certainly need it now a solution that can handle these volumes and importantly, that can handle them safely.